Okay, so I got me a new little camera. This camera is for the shy girly. I don't know how, but I got an eight dollar bag of grapes, and uh, if I was in self checkout, I would have put that shit back. But I didn't see it until I got my receipt. The girl has been exhausted. I spent a lot of money. I spent ninety six sixty nine. I never spend this much at H E B. You know, when I was a little girl, my auntie told me like, if you really want your hair to go, you should brush it a hundred times before night. I don't have a beep, beep, beep thing in this car. I be hitting so much little stuff. It really just be like walls and poles, not people's cars. Hey guys, welcome to another Sunday Reset with me. So on Sundays, I typically like to get up go work out, go to church. But today was a little bit different. I actually took my sew-in out this weekend, so I'm trying to preserve the hair for at least a few days. Um, so I didn't do any cardio this morning, but I found my favorite workout on YouTube. So that is what I did um, this morning. And then I'm honestly, we're just gonna be bedside Baptist today. I'm gonna watch the 10 o'clock service on YouTube. That way I'm still getting my dose of the Lord today and I really like my church I don't like missing it but I just need to get my life like my house is a mess I need to fold clothes I need to kind of meal prep because we've been eating out so much I do not want to be eating out like this my birthday is in six weeks and I need the body snatch so I gotta like dial it back as I'm pulling up to Starbucks but um yes Starbucks isn't considered bad right Anywho, so yes, I'm about to head off to do my little shopping for today. Um, I also got a new vlogging camera. I don't have it with me now. I haven't even unboxed it yet, so I'm going to unbox that for you guys later. And then I want to do some vitamin shopping, so maybe I'll take the new camera um, out when I do the vitamin shopping. But on Sundays, everything opens like very, what's the word, late. So... We're just out doing the grocery shopping before like the church crowd comes and then that way like I don't really have to even deal with people because like I'm not like a, like when it comes to like crowds and spaces I really don't like it being too much people so honestly I prefer to do like it's 7 45 like I would prefer to do my grocery shopping this early all the time but it's like on Sunday like if you want to go to church I mean I guess I could probably do saturdays for my grocery run but it's just something about sunday that makes it feel like official if that makes sense i don't know like what days do y'all do y'all grocery shopping i feel like i'm a sunday girl but um let's see here hi thanks for coming to starbucks this is taylor i'll be right with you okay thank you so much for your patience what can i get for you can i just do um a tall matcha latte hot all matcha latte hot. Are you okay with the 2% muffin hot? No, let's do almond milk. All right, got it. And, and then can I also do like whipped cream and cinnamon on top of that? Yeah, for sure. And then that's it. All right, it's gonna be 612. Thank you. Let me get my Starbucks app out. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, you have a good one. So, anywho, I'm off to my favorite store, um, H-E-B, and then I'm probably going to head to Trader Joe's, just because that's just what we do. Trader Joe's has, like, good, like, drinks, like, beverages, and then I, I don't know, I honestly don't even know what I want to cook for the week, but I know I've been eating trash, so I need to, like, be strategic about what I'm cooking, but it's also, like... I literally just cleaned out my refrigerator today y'all i threw away so many like vegetables and i don't know like i think i'd be buying like too much or we just eat out too much like i don't know what's like the perfect kind of like amount that i need to get but i don't want to be throwing away groceries i know that for sure so i don't know maybe I only buy a little this week and then 
if I need more in the middle of the week, I'll just go. And that's another thing. Like before John moved down here, I would go to the grocery store more frequently because I wouldn't like overbuy stuff because I don't like leftovers for one. So I wasn't like batching like huge, I guess like meals. So it was like once it was done, it was done. And most of the time it was done every night because I would just make enough for me. But now it's like, I really don't know how to make enough for both of us and he eats a lot more than me so like what i'm used to buying is just like never enough and then like if i buy more then he don't eat it and then it go bad and i'll just be like i don't know i have to find the the perfect balance for a two-person household but he don't eat like a one person so i don't know i don't know i think that's a man thing because my friends just be saying the same thing about their dudes Hey y'all, so I just got to, um, so I just got to H-E-B and I told y'all like, I'm just like a little bit stuck on like what I should be buying at the grocery store. Like it's so different shopping for two people. So I came across this TikTok video called like the six to one method. And I think he said six veggies, five fruits, no, I don't remember what else he said. I'm about to turn the video back on. Uh, grocery shopping, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. I don't care if you go to Air One. Use the six to one method. You grab six veggies, five fruits, four proteins, four proteins. three starches, three starches. two sauces or spreads, and one fun thing for yourself. This okay. thing. So he said four protein, three starches, two sauces or spreads i probably won't get that because i don't eat that stuff but john does so maybe i will and then one fun thing and my fun thing is probably going to be a greek yogurt ice cream bar because your girl likes to have ice cream or just like something healthy i would say and i, I mean they're like only 100 calories so So I just left out of H-E-B and I tried the little six to one method um, with the six veggies, five fruits, four proteins, three starches, two sauces or spreads, and one fun thing. So I kind of didn't do that exactly because I did two fun things because it's two of us and if only five things come in a pack that's not helpful for both of us so i got two fun things um i did uh a extra starch because like i don't eat meat so i was just kind of trying to get like the same little stuff i would eat um i didn't buy any seafood because i have salmon at home so i just bought all protein for him and then some eggs but I spent a lot of money 
I spent $96.69. I never spend this much at HEB, so my ass is not going to Trader Joe's today. I don't know. Maybe I will. Because I don't, I feel like I don't need anything else. Like, the only other thing we would need is like little snacks. But if we're trying to be on a diet, do we need these little snacks? Hmm. Yeah, so I honestly think that's just what we're going to go with today. Um, maybe if I stop by Trader Joe's, I'm going to get like some sparkling waters or something. It's literally going to be for beverages only. Um, But we shall see how these groceries... My hair is curled like so weird right now. But we shall see how these groceries last us for this week. And honestly, like I feel like... It'll last, some of the stuff will last more than a week because like I got regular potatoes and sweet potatoes, but it's like, I'm trying to like, I don't know. I'm trying to find this groove with cooking for two people. So we'll see. it gets me so emotional and I don't even have kids like it's so weird it's like literally such a beautiful damn I should turn here it's such a beautiful song like it makes me cry and I don't have kids like I literally be bawling I'm pulling into Trader Joe's right now this bitch is packed already I guess it's 9 16 right now so we shall see if we find anything get lucky i know i want to give me some ginger beer because ginger brew what the fuck are you doing uh yeah so i need to get some ginger beer well it's called ginger brew but it's literally so good so that's what we get every week honestly like i'm not like a pop girly but it's good let me whip out my parking skills real quick i hate that this, this freaking spot is on a speed bump that's no fun but I got these parking skills. Don't even trip. Oh. And I don't have a beep, beep, beep thing in this car. I be hitting so much little stuff. It really just be like walls and poles, not people's cars. So, yes, we are at Trader Joe's. And I got me a good parking spot because if you know, you know, when you go to Trader Joe's, it be popping and it don't be no parking spot. So let me hurry up and get in here before it's too many people because it's not a lot right now. All right, so quick trip. Um, got everything I needed from Trader Joe's. They didn't have my ginger brew. They did not have the ginger brew, which pisses me off because that's literally probably the only real reason that we've been going like the past few weeks because we really like this ginger brew that they have. So I ended up getting some tart cherry juice for my mocktails. I still have a little bit of tart cherry juice, but it's very little. So I like to do the tart cherry juice in the mocktails. I know y'all guys. I know you've seen it on uh, TikTok. Plus, I also have a YouTube short if you want to know, like, specifically one of the recipes that I do for my um, Sleepy Girl Mocktail. And, yeah, I got a few snacks. I ended up getting some um, these little fish burgers, too. I don't know where I'm going to cook them, but we have a grill in my apartment outside. But I don't know if it works right now. It's like a propane grill. Otherwise, I'm gonna just put it in the air fryer and put it on the porch. What I think I'm gonna do when I get my next check is I'm going to buy an electric grill for outside and that's gonna be specifically for fish and he can't use it. Cause I need to have my protein and it's getting real frustrating that I can't cook, can't heat up the food, nothing in the house. I'm just hindering my goats. So yeah, I'm about to head home 
do that home stuff like clean up and fold clothes it is 9 30 just in time so by the time i get home it'll be probably pushing 10. i like to um i'm gonna watch the 10 o'clock service i probably could go but the 10 o'clock service be having way too many people so i'm gonna watch the 10 o'clock service on youtube um the church i go to is called one community if you guys want to check it out on youtube it's bomb not even gonna lie it's like amazing like it's probably the best church i've ever been to but the everybody who preaches there great i love the uh their lead pastor but even like the people who come in and like guest uh pastor or guest speak or their assistant pastors they're all good and it's like such a welcoming and friendly environment i don't know if you guys um have experienced this but sometimes when you go to church it can be very awkward and very like judgmentally and just weird but this place is like there they will literally grab you out of hand like let's go and me with a little social anxiety i don't be for that either though so the, uh, one of my coworkers, she doesn't work at my job anymore sad face but she goes there too and she actually knows my cousin well actually went to college with my cousin so like she's been very like helpful for me like moving to dallas or whatever and she's been trying to get me active at the church and i'm like okay girl okay so um she said she's gonna introduce me to their social media guy so like maybe i can do some volunteering and serving with their social media team and i finally said okay so we'll see if that like unfolds this year but also I think what me and John are going to do is premarital counseling. They have a premarital counseling uh, group that's about to go on for the next six weeks. And I probably should check into it because I think it starts next week. So I need to see if there's still like spots available. But I do want us to have some premarital um, counseling before we go. And I feel like when you go to therapy, it's all fine and dandy. But I feel like <sighs> therapy is not really what we need right now. I feel like we do need someone um someone with spiritual guidance and that church is like very heavy on like marriage and like the purpose of marriage and why two christians come together and how we have to you know put that into our kids to produce our legacy and stuff like that so definitely gonna go ahead and sign up for that when i get home if there are still spots available which i hope there is and they also give you 60 percent off your marriage license so not that we're going to get married in Texas because we still have Michigan ID. So I think we're going to go home and do like a um, a little courthouse kind of wedding just because um, when you, we're doing a destination wedding. I don't know if I said that. But yeah, we're getting married in Jamaica next year. So we're going to do like a little courthouse thing prior to going because like when you get married out of the country, it's like a lot of fees and translation certificates that go along with that and it's just like way more money like instead of just going home and i think a marriage certificate is like 75 dollars so we're gonna do it at home prior to the wedding no big deal but yes let me head home i have a nice little headache because we had a nice little drinking sesh yesterday so let me get home hydrate clean up get my day started because i do want to go buy them a shopping today i do want to hit home goods We'll see if we have time to do all of that.
back from the grocery store and this is everything that i got so i tried to follow that little method but now that i'm looking at the groceries i didn't really follow the method but somewhat of the method so i got church over here playing in the background so we got some it's supposed to be five veggies but i have zucchini at home already so i did spaghetti squash broccoli asparagus brussels sprouts and a cabbage uh, we did four fruits, so we did peaches, plums, grapes, and apples. Uh, we had to do four proteins. Um, so we did the chicken, turkey bacon, ground turkey, and pasture-raised eggs. And then when I went to Trader Joe's, I ended up getting those mahi-mahi burgers. Uh, for the three starches, we did regular potatoes and the sweet potatoes. And I also got some grits. Um, because I love grits and then um, I got hash browns as well and then for the two sauces I got this spaghetti sauce and some barbecue sauce for John and then my one little treat but I got two I got the Greek yogurt bars and then I also tried these kind bars because I never had these before. And then I got a few extra things from Trader Joe's, just like snacks. So we got this little sauce. I got some half and half to make the sauce for my dinner. Uh, these chili pineapples. We got these little flex veggie chips. I love these fig chips right here. And they have olives in them too. It's like a very weird, unique taste. We got the tart cherry juice for my mocktails. And then these little strawberry rhubarb. Um, soda space. So my apartment have like this little kitchen area. I came up here to see if they have like a stove or something that I could cook my fish on, but they don't. What was this? Um, uh, I think that's like a warmer drawer, but it's missing the, um, it's missing the knob, so it probably doesn't work. So it's a little chilly out today. It's like 50. It's not chilly, it's just like breezy. But like, this is a nice little patio balcony thing on the roof here. And the view is so cute. Such a nice day in Texas today. Yeah, I'm bummed. I thought I would be able to come in here and cook my fish, but I cannot. What I think I'm going to do is actually, I might see if the grill is open today. And if it's not open, I am going to um, just cook it in the air fryer. But they do have some grills downstairs, so I think I'm going to look into that. Okay, so I got me a new little camera. This camera is for the shy girlies. What was I saying? Anywho, it's supposed to be very small and 4K, so let's see. It is the Canon, I don't know what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. So I'm gonna test this one out. Uh, we're about to go run some errands, so we will see what the quality is hitting like. We are out vlogging on the new camera. My car is very dark, so I really don't know about the lighting too much. I might have to like play with the settings. I look a little brighter there. 
So, um, yes, this is, new, this is the new camera. We're gonna see like how the quality comes out when I edit the video. But right now I am at the bowling alley. Um, John is starting in a league. So he's trying to make sure he has all his stuff. Um, he's looking at, he already got like four balls. He's looking to get new balls and he wanna get some shoes. And I think he wants to get like his, the holes in the ball like resized. So we are at the bowling alley. He's seeing if the pro shop is open. And then after that, I'm gonna run to vitamin shop because your girl is vitamin D has been low, low. So I am gonna see if they have any vitamin D gummies, preferably. Um, and I know you're supposed to get vitamin D with K2, so I'm gonna see if they have that. If they have that, I'm pretty sure it's not in the gummy though. So we shall see. Um, I need a multivitamin and I need like vitamin D because my doctor told me like the vitamin D that comes in the multivitamin is not enough. So I need to take like a few extra. Also, I'm, I mean, I'm because I'm on this medication and then also I have half a thyroid. So I need to be getting more vitamin D because your girl has been exhausted, tired. So yes that is what we're up to and if i find anything good i'll let you guys know That ain't my, that ain't my girl, that's my nigga Catch me out on ocean drive with her Ay. Catch me in the whip, ride with her Ay. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her Pray you get that job in Tampa That's only four hours away Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster oh, Whichever one is in a household Oh, damn, yeah, man oh. Never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh, I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils too. So after a long lovely day of grocery shopping and I said we're gonna stop eating out, please tell me why we're at the taco spot. Like it's called Desperados, but the tacos are so good. Um and we just left vitamin shop. So I got some D3 vitamins with K2. They says this helps your bones and stuff absorb the vitamin D when you pair it with K2. So I got that and I'm a gummy kind of girl. So I just got these gummies. And then um, I got the Mary's Ruth women's vitamin. And like I said, we gummies over here. We do gummies only. And I mean, I could do, you know, a different kind of vitamin, but I feel like they kind of make my stomach hurt and make me have to throw up when I do like capsules. It's like my body doesn't absorb it well. I'm sure you probably might have to eat or something with it, but it just doesn't absorb it all too well. So these are the two vitamins that I got. Oh, so these are the two vitamins I got. They look to be pretty clean. Um, the Mary's Ruth um, says it's vegan. It doesn't have too many ingredients. I do see some seed oils in here, which they say it's not good for you, but um, I don't know. At this point, everything in the world is not really good for you. So we're gonna have tacos today. Um, I guess I might still cook or at least prep my food for tomorrow because I kind of feel like if I eat these tacos, I'm not gonna really be hungry this evening tacos are so good y'all like if you live in the dallas area go to desperado tacos so good it's a location in garland and it's a location in dallas but these tacos are like so good so yeah i'm about to get our tacos and go home maybe make a margarita or something that's me yeah.
I'm doing a side by side comparison just to tell. So let's just pause right here because my camera conveniently fell down. But just look at the quality on the right from this little vlog camera. It's giving A1. So, so I know I'm not the only person who, when you go grocery shopping, you still get you a regular meal on that day because it just doesn't count. So we went to Desperados and here is my, ooh, look how they spell my name. It's shrimpy today. They didn't smell the shrimpy voice. Hey guys, future me here. But I don't think I actually gave y'all like a review on the camera. When I say I love this camera, I feel like the quality is good. I feel like it's clear. It's giving quality. And it's literally so tiny. Like in comparison to my phone, it's like way smaller it's probably the size of honestly like a credit card and i feel like if you're a shy girly like me or just don't want to be all out in public with a big ass camera or a big ass phone think about this think about getting this little camera it's cute i think it was only like 400 and something dollars but they got after pay for that so don't worry about that <laughs> No, but seriously, like I feel like if you really want to like invest in your channel or like invest in vlogging and you might be a little nervous about starting to vlog, this might be a good option for you. I mean, obviously your phone is honestly probably the best option for you as far as like cost and stuff. But if you want something very small and discreet, I would encourage you to take a look at this camera. It is the Canon. Let me figure out what the name of this camera is because I said I was going to say it in a vlog and I still never figure it out. Let me go to my Amazon because that's where I bought it on that good after pay. Um, it is the Canon PowerShot V10 and it's a little vlogging camera. So if you guys are thinking about vlogging, check this camera out. Um, I just finished my tacos. I feel like today has been a long day. I've been up since probably like 7 been grocery shopping all day um probably won't cook tonight honestly i'm just be real um i'm about to hop in the shower just because i've been out and about like all day um and then the rest of the evening i think i'm gonna just chill for real i need to fold clothes and wash honestly that's the two main things and then i need to plan out my content for the next few weeks so i'm gonna at least write down like some video ideas um and then figure out what i want to record this week on my work from home days because i kind of figure like that works best for me uh, when i work from home just record like my long form content so yes i i just put my hair in like this side part and i almost think it looks cuter this way it looks healthier too but um you know the, the middle part had us girls in the chokehold but i'm really liking the side part so i don't know um I think my hair looks really good to just come out of a salon. Like, it looks really good. I'm going to a hairstylist on Friday down here so she can kind of, like, clean it up because it's, like, a lot. It's broke off a lot, like, here. So I, heard, I want her to kind of even out my front. But if I can just do, like, a side part, that might just be better for my hair because I'm pretty much bald. I'm not even going to hold you up in the middle of my head because... I'm just thin there and then like leave out and all that is just like traumatic to the hair so i'm about to get in the shower um and then just chill for a little minute so i was doing all this talking about my hair being like thin here and i forgot that i had this little thing it's like for your skin or whatever but it does have one comb attachment that helps promote um, hair growth. And I had got this last year and because I had this bald spot, I swear I used this all the three times and that bald spot like grew right back in. So I'm about to use this right now. So this is how it looks. And then you just kind of comb it like you would regularly comb your hair. So the comb attachment has a neon light in it. And then the ones for, some of the ones for your face have an argon light in it. So it sounds like it's ready. I'm gonna see something here. 
So I turned the light off so you can see like, when you comb your hair, this is what will be, you know, the result of that. So let's, I mean like, I'm literally so thin right here. Like you can see right through my scalp, like look, so. Know, when I was a little girl, my auntie told me like, if you really want your hair to go, you should brush it a hundred times before night. So I'm not brushing my hair a hundred times before night. And most days like, I feel like I be working out. So it's like my hair be in a ponytail most of the time, unless I have a sew in. So it's not realistic to black girls, I don't think. Unless you're not working out. I don't know how long I should do this, but I'm going to just do the rest of my head too. So I feel like that is enough. And I just put some of these back in here because this is glass and I don't want that to get damaged. And then I got this from Amazon, I think. And then there's like a whole bunch of other different kind of pieces. Like I know right now this piece, like a machine on TikTok shops, like has like lights and people are doing this, like, but I already have this attachment. Um, I use this one for like blemishes. And then I don't think I've used these other ones in here. Like this one. And I have another one in here tucked in. And this one, so I haven't used those two, but I've used the other, um, the other ones. So this is the brand I got, Uderma Professionals. And it's the Neon and Argon High Frequency Skin Therapy Wand. So, definitely recommend. So I'm out taking Milo for a walk. It is about seven o'clock. Go, go, leave it. It's about seven o'clock and I've done like so many content ideas for the next few weeks for my YouTube. So I'm super excited about that. The, re the real thing is like, I just have to be consistent with it, but I feel like I've done enough like research and planning to really execute this. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do pretty much is I work from home two days a week. So I'm gonna focus on the day, don't step right there. The days that I work from home for those to be my filming and editing days. And I feel like that would be most effective for me and what I'm trying to accomplish with my channel. So that's super exciting. So this week, um, I already have everything already plotted out. So really all I have to do is just film. I plan to batch like at least three to four videos on Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever I stay home, just so we can get the ball rolling because it's about that time. So just finishing up out here with Mr. Milo and then I'm gonna go in the house and make me a sleepy girl mocktail and I'm gonna go ahead and relax. I've done so much thinking for today. I've done so many tasks for today, so yeah. I don't want to wait too long, too long.